they don't accept it. When they feel hurt, they will say, I can see more than you. In India, we call them surdas. The meaning of surdas is that they become more sensitive to the sound. They can see through the sound better than you can see. So, as far as the self is concerned, self is not blind. The eyes are blind. I can still see through the ears, through the touch, and all these things. So even if you call a blind person blind, he does not accept it because he is not blind. The eyes are blind. And now if you call a person who is not blind, but who is son of a blind, if you call him blind, it is more of an insult. So this was a disrespect. And then the whole story started. Okay. And finally the Mahabharata was fought, in which not only the Kauravas and Pandas were fighting, they got all the people from the, all around the India and got them killed. It is estimated that something of the order of 65 crore people were killed. Maybe a little exaggerated, but it was huge. And it was so huge and the damage was so much that India has not been able to recover from it even till now. All the invasions which have taken place in India is after this. So that was the kind of damage on an issue, very simple issue of respect and disrespect. And all this keeps happening, one after the other, making such severe damages. Recently there is a movie, there is a new one of movie. If you look at that movie, right? <coughs> this is a story about you know taking revenge. Because one group has insulted the other group, so he takes the revenge. And then the other group, you know, is very active and then he starts taking the revenge. And after thirty years or fifty years, you know, they come back to the exactly same position. Right? Now this, this story is going to repeat. But this is what is happening in most of the you know, families, most of the cities, most of the you know, countries. So this issue of respect and disrespect, which is based on this now, is creating so much a problem in this society. You can look around and see. You know, Research, the reasons, all this is creating problems. When the wealth, today this has become a prominent problem. That you are going on accumulating more and more wealth. Why? <coughs> Get respect. Because otherwise there is no point of it. This man, you know, I was telling about this Ketan Desai, right? <coughs> taking bribe of two crores. And he already has 1800 kg of gold. And he must be having more money all around, right? But this is what was caught in this house. In his house. Now, what do you to do with all this? Except that you are relating it to respect. What will you do with the money? And I tell you, most of these people who have accumulated so much of money, they are not even able to eat four chapatis like us. <laughs> so they will have to take two chapati with boiled vegetable and no ghee <laughs> because they already have this problem of sugar. <laughs> they must have had few heart attacks by now, right? And the kidney must be on the verge of failure. <laughs> so they can't even eat, you know, the chapatis which we can eat. And they are still accumulating. For what? For getting respect. <coughs> I have one uh, true story to 
Uh, I think about 15 years ago, or 10, 15 years ago, I was asked to go to Nalenda. There was uh, some function. And, uh, and then we were in a group. One is a Dasha Sangye Doji, I think all of you know. Dasha Sangye Wanchu. Yes, yes. Very tall and then a fair looking big nose and a good personality. You know? <laughs> 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 him, I was nominated. So we both went to the Nalenda uh, festival. Uh, I think it was a Nalenda Buddhist something. So many monks. And then each uh, person were, was uh, received with a flower garland. So it so happened that I was going ahead of Dasha Sangye Wangcho, who is a tall man. Then I was stopped at the gate. Please call me. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> so when Dasha Sangye to Wangcho went, he was received with a flower garden. And then Dasha Sangye was saying, oh, he is our sanctity, you know, so 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 so. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> body also. <laughs> this is one, and then the second was in, uh, it was in 1983. 83, we were in Italy. And we were in some course attending. There were uh, three uh, persons from Arab, Arab, Middle East attended the same course. They were very rich, very rich. Every evening we had to drink beer with them. And they were not going to throw away the uh, can, empty cans. They had to fill up the you know, table. Once it is filled up, then all three of them have to stand. And then also us who are sharing the beer <laughs> have to stand. Look around all the cans and then put his, their hand on the waist. This is how Arabs drink, yeah, something like that. <laughs> so, and then he was so proud that he used to say that, how many cars do you have? So if I say I have one, only one? <laughs> I have 12 cars. <laughs> and then he was asking, do you have a green grass in your country? So I said, in Bhutan, everything is green. <laughs> Because for him, having a green grass is a very rich and prestigious in the world. Because it's a desert country. So if you have a green grass around, it means that you are very, very rich now. But for me, a person who did not understand about it, everything is green. Because <laughs> you are richer than them. And then we uh, went to London in a one department store. And in the store, and one is much shorter than me. So you can imagine how funny he looks. And with a mustache and curly hair, you know. So he was looking for a suit. He was looking for a suit. And then uh, in England, everyone is tall. So his height could be six feet. So for him to get a suit was difficult. And he wants a ready made. So we were in a department store. So he asked for the uh, ready-made suit, and then one after another not fitting for him. So finally, the uh, the girl who you know was attending him and bringing him the uh, suit said, "Go to a children's shop." <laughs> and then he made sure that he talked to the manager and make sure that his suit was stitched, you know, within 24 hours. And then no matter how much amount. Human, human anger when he is. This is what I want to share. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in fact. <coughs> now slowly we'll have the capacity to evaluate all these actions. <laughs> which we have been calling as, you know, real things.
whether they are real, whether they are human, or we are doing all this because of some inhuman things happening right, in this society. So you can see very simple, simple you know things like respect can create so much of havoc in this society. And it is not giving rise to any real achievement. For example, <coughs> we are wasting so much of resource, physical resource, right, to get respect. Right. And we are not getting this. That is the unfortunate thing. If you look at the situation today, what is happening is that everybody is begging for respect and everybody bowels is empty. So nobody has the feeling of respect and is trying to get the feeling of respect from others. And everybody is empty of it. Now see what will happen. So everybody's bowel is empty because he doesn't have the feeling of respect. And you are seeking for respect and you are ready to do anything for this. You are ready to do anything to get respect from the other and the other does not have the feeling of respect. So I say, if you look at the situation, it is like this. Everybody has become a beggar, begging for respect and everybody's bhavan is empty. Right? So how do you get the respect? So you don't get the respect, so you have to do hundred things. Right? Every day you have to change your suit. You know? wear a new dress, do some fancy thing to get their attraction. Right? But then the other person is busy trying to get respect. So he doesn't even look at you. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't get the respect and then it goes on, right? You will make, buy one car and then you think that you are not getting enough respect. Then you buy a bigger car and so on and so forth. <coughs> on the other hand, if I understand this feeling of respect, I will also be able to evaluate this. If I have understood this feeling of respect, I will have the feeling of respect. If I have the feeling of respect, I am willing to share it with everybody. Right? So simple. On the other hand, I will not beg for respect on the basis of all this. Because I know that if the other person has the right understanding of the relationship, then he will anyway have the feeling of respect. If he does not have the right understanding, right, he will give respect on the basis of this differentiation, which is not respect. Then the whole situation would change. Right? I will have the feeling of respect for everyone. I will share this feeling of respect with everyone. Right? And I am not seeking respect from the others with this. So I have become the giver and not the beggar. Okay. And everyone can become like that. It is so simple. What do you think? Is it easy to do this or to do this? Yeah, you spend a lot of fun. <laughs> so all that is required here is the right understanding about the relationship, about the feeling of respect. Right? And if you understand this, it is there in you. That is it. And it does not get exhausted. Right? You can share it with everyone. But if this is the mode, then you are stuck. You have to go on spending more and more physical facility to get respect through this, which turns out to be disrespect. You want to do the, some plastic surgery and adding two inches on the spinal cord, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. This plastic surgery of the face is becoming very common. <laughs> Michael Jackson, right? <laughs> <laughs> the black becoming the white. <laughs> you would even not remember that Michael Jackson once used to have a black face. Yes. Because you are used to seeing his face after the plastic surgery.
So you can see <coughs> this is the respect or this is the respect. This is what is the basis of respect for you or this is what is the basis of respect for you. What is it? What is it? And which is correct? <coughs> In fact, if you look at yourself, or the whole society, not as an individual, I would say, the whole society is geared up to this. And you are trying to become something special on the basis of this. <coughs> when we talk about excellence, <coughs> we will be able to deal more with this. That if this is the basis of respect for you, you try to become special. When you understand excellence, that feeling of reverence when we talk about, it is just the other way around. And you can see whether you are trying to achieve excellence or you are trying to become special. If this is the notion of respect, you will try to become special. Nishi was just mentioning in the lunch time that at his you know, uh, childhood when he was in class 11, the most the, you know, kind of relished uh, book was the Guinness Book of World Record. Because that is inspiring everyone to become something special. <laughs> so you want to become something special. So you have eight feet long boosters. <laughs> and you come in the Guni Luka World Record. And then it is trouble for you to maintain that. You can't carry it along. Eight feet of mustache, all the way. Very difficult to manage. In one of the workshops, one fellow came, he said, I have made a world record of watching TV for 80 hours continuously. <laughs> I said, what to say of you? <laughs> <laughs> now you have to watch all kind of you know, nonsense for 80 hours to become something special. <laughs> and that's what we have been doing, almost. I think I can show you the first half you know, of this. And second half will show you when we talk about the excellence. Right? So you can show you this part, you know, connected to the being a special. Special and bowler, right? Yes. Look at this right side. If I have the excellence, right? The conclusion which comes out of this understanding, the right understanding, and right feeling is that the other is like me. We are complementary. What do you think? This is the conclusion we are coming to or no other like me? I am different from the others. What are you working for? This or this? Working for this or the, for this? We are working towards excellence so that we will be special. <laughs> then, <coughs> you 
helps the other to come to his level. Distorts the other right, to come to his level. Effort to accentuate the difference, to dominate, manipulate and exploit. What do you think? Working here or here? Then, operates on the basis of natural exception, that is definite. Vatantrata, self-driven by clarity of human purpose. Operates on the basis of the preconditioning. Driven by others, on the basis of reward, fear or punishment. What is it? This or this? <laughs> then, does respect in relationship, conditional relationship, over-evaluation of the self and under-evaluation of the other. Is prosperous, right utilities, shares and nurtures, is deprived, holds, accumulates, expands. This is absolute, definite completion point. This is relative, no definite completion point. So you are trying to be this or this? <laughs> yes, hands forth. major part of our effort today is, you know, trying to do this. Major effort is spent on this. And instead of resulting into something good for the society, right, it creates more problem in the society and also for the self. So it's not that by accumulating money, right, hoarding money, okay, I get comfortable. I become more uncomfortable and I also make others uncomfortable. You have to decide whether you are operating with this or you are operating with this. If you are operating with this, this is what will come. If you are operating with right understanding and right feeling, this is what will come. We will visit this again when we talk about the excellence, you know. <coughs> the excellence comes through this right understanding and right feeling and that is what you do in the name of excellence. This is what you are doing in the name of competition. You are trying to be special. back to this when we talk about excellence. <coughs> so let me continue with this, you know, this feeling of respect. So I have written down three things when evaluating the person on the basis of the self. Okay. One was the purpose, the other was the potential, the uh, program, the third was the purpose. Can you put the light on? <coughs> So, if we evaluate the human being on the basis of these three, the conclusion is that the other is like me. 
Jadi So there is the fourth point for which I had left this space, right? Yes. <coughs> so as long as the progress, purpose, the program and the potential is concerned, the other is like me. Right? <coughs> the only difference could be in terms of realizing this potential in terms of the computer. The competence may be different in different people. If this competence is different, then, and if I understand things properly, this will lead to complementarity. This is the right evaluation. That is, if I have the right understanding and right feeling, right, or better understanding and feeling than the other, then I will live with sense of responsibility in relationship. And I will become a help for him to develop his understanding and his feeling. Instead of differentiating, I will become complementary to him. If he has better understanding than me, then I would like to understand from him. That is the complementarity in terms of the competence. So the competence is essentially having this right understanding and right feeling. So if there is a difference in the competence, my competence and the competence of the other, then I will be able to define the complementarity. If I do this, this is you know, respect for a human being on the basis of the self. So these are the four things. In terms of purpose, program and potential, we are alive. The other is like me. In terms of the competence, I define the complementary. Mm. So if I have understood something, <coughs> Then I am trying to share it with you. If you have some understood something, then I would like to share it with you. <coughs> that complementarity is what is, you know, what will come out of this. Is that correct? So I can find this. One is I have better understanding, right? Then I live with responsibility. help the other to improve his understanding. Right. If I have better understanding. Okay. If I have less understanding, willing to learn from the other. This is the complementarity.
thus this is there, then it is respect. If I start differentiating on the basis of this competence, it becomes disrespect. So respect of person.